a lot of them don't want to see that and then you know they'll just keep them in the country and i just think it's whack so if you have the finances and the the mental capacity to do it that's good but most don't so that's my only argument wait to what for the passport bros oh, and his lifestyle finding a oh so woman. you're are you against passport bros or I understand the fundamentals of it for those who have done everything in life to make sure they are a man. But if you're not a man, I don't think you deserve that, honestly. Because not only that, you're going to be with a girl, you're going to make her miserable. She's going to have kids with you. And that's just just the whole generation of... What do you mean you're going to make her miserable? If you don't have your life together, what makes you think you know how to appreciate a a traditional wife? Oh, so you're, you're saying in the context of passport pros? Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, we're talking about like relationships here. He has three that he can handle. They are happy. Do it, Alvin. Do it. Huh? Yeah. Well, so go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, he could do that. But if some other guy who's living here, who's never had an idea of what a male figure is in his life, he's going based off of whatever little content he picks from the internet. He's saying, well, I want a traditional wife. But therefore, he doesn't even have like a credit score. He doesn't even have like his, his life in check. He's still driving the hoopty from high school. But you want a traditional girl. Like what happens when you bring that girl over here? You're going to basically make her a Western woman and she's going to realize like this guy really doesn't have his shit together. Now she's going to cheat on you. You know what the solution to that is? Don't bring it to America. I, I, think, that, I think that's a cop yeah. out. I really think, I think that's a cop out. It's the, it's the solution though. But it's, it's embarrassing. I it's think true. that's so embarrassing. I have, I'm Vietnamese. I have workers yeah, but he can, back he can home. Have, he can raise a family over there. But, that, so but the whole point I, that's, is... That's my point. That's my point. That's my point. If he adapts the culture, that makes sense. But majority, if you're not going to adapt the culture, you're going to marry your girl. Why do you think she married you for the American culture? You're going to marry her and keep her in her country when she really wants to come over here. I think that's selfish. Oh, yeah, she does. So, but yeah, she does. Like she want, most, most, I, I agree with your hypothesis that most of the girls that are probably yeah. matching up with these hot passport boys, I have boys so whatever, many, yeah. they're, they're doing it for the green card. I, yes. get, I get the point. Oh, yeah, and a lot of guys don't know that because they're seeing only the tradition of like value in which I can, I understand we all see things we want, but like it doesn't mean you can have it. A lot of people don't see that. So they'll like kind of. But are, are you saying, I, the, the, the key thing when it comes to the passport pros, I mean, we could debate kind of what the motivations are on the women's side mm-hmm. is the men in Western countries are dissatisfied with the behavior of Western modern women, and they're looking to South America and Asia for more feminine traditional women. Yeah, Do you my, disagree with that part? I, un- I understand with that statement. My thing would just be level up. Like, I just think that, all right, so what? The girl here wants you to make a decent amount. I'm not saying the extremities of like the six, seven figure guys. I'm not saying that there, there aren't girls who don't want you just to be like not socially awkward. Like, a lot of guys are socially awkward. I think I think you're a bit ignorant to like the average guy's experience. Um, consider this, right? Most guys, the average guy today, his granddad had to put in a quarter of the work to mm. get the kind of woman that is four times as amazing as the woman he's attracted. Oh, you're today. are you talking? Like, you're talking like about his gra- like his grandmother was an amazing woman and, mm-hmm. a, and a very very feminine natural woman, and his granddad yeah. really didn't have to do the kind of work he has to do right now Yo, as a young man in the Western world. So so you're talking about hoflation. Yes, it's hoflation. Hoflation. So modern men have to work five times harder than their grandfathers did for women twenty times worse than what their grandmothers were. Yeah. It's true. It's actually true. I get what you guys are saying, but again, I guess. Okay. With what I understand from everything, it's like there's I, I have a family salon back at home. They're the guys that are born here and guys who are born in my country. What they do is they sit here and they realize like, all right, I want to go back to my country, marry a girl. They're miserable right. with the back and forthness. Like that's like an average guy from what I've seen and then what I've have to coach with. So I, I get what you're saying that there's so they, so they don't they don't stay there. They they try to do they can't like afford two, to they stay to, there. They try to do two countries. It's like because they're here. It's like it's hard right, to make right, money over there. Because they work here. Yeah. yeah. So how is that? It's not realistic. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's hard. It's not easy. Not, it's not, not everyone can pull it off. They can't. It's true. They can't. It's uh, That's just my rough. only argument. That's rough, that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's not. It's not easy. So. Yeah, I get it. Hoflation. Hoflation. That's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's a thing. Women are it's asking for way more now and bringing the least they're asking for more now because they're ignorant but honestly like i grew up here and i was just as ignorant not to the degree that it's gotten to but like the only reason why i am the way i am now is because i met somebody that made me realize holy crap i need to i need to have my life i don't have the luxury to be barbaric hold on alvin sam super chatted 100 thank you man Ling Ling, modern (laughs) women are masculine argumentative combative and overweight but by your logic that's the man's fault. Your response to Alvin? 
I don't say, I didn't say it was his fault. I didn't say that. There's plenty of women that there isn't. That's the thing. Everyone lives on social media. So you're looking at the girls that you do see on social media that is masculine. I, I literally have been enlisted at nail salon my entire life. There's women of all walks of life. I deal with more women than the average guy has ever dealt with women. So how is it that I can get those girls who are barbarically masculine to submit to their feminine side just by simply them paying for a course with me? You're doing God's work there. Excuse me? You're doing God's work. That's, that's my point. So it's like even for myself as a living testament, like how, how can you say that? It's like, yes, a lot of these girls don't even have like a proper upbringing and then you have social media making it to this, this crazy extravagant level of like this, there's only this and there's only this. There isn't. I mean, just me being here in Santa Barbara for like the past 24 hours, I've ran into girls at coffee shops that weren't a certain degree where I'm like, oh, okay, all right. They're, everyone isn't like that. And, but we only see what, what is on social media is all I'm going to say. And they're going to argue with that because L Asian, L Asian, because you guys live on social media. You're a burner account leaving comments. That's what you do. But why don't you build some social skills and get out of it? Find some common grounds with girls who actually do, I don't know, pottery class, church, shit like that. I, I think people make it so extreme. Those, well, a lot of these church girls are chameleons. Okay, that's, that's the extreme. Like I'm saying, like, I, again, I was in the women's space. Like, I, I for nail salon since I was 14. So therefore, yeah, there are those type of girls who use that as a facade. But then there are girls who are just there. And there's also, like he said, women are fucking obese and massing. What about the guys who are feminized and, and obese also? But I'm, then they I'm, demand it. I'm just curious. Like, on, on average, what do you think you're, like, the average age of one of like, your female clients would be? Right now, they're mid twenties, early thirties. Right. Early thirties. Okay. That, that, make, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm just, and then like anyone that's younger, like the younger guys that are complaining about women being shitty, you're young. You shouldn't even be dating. You should honestly be getting your shit together. So I really don't see why that's even an argument. I get getting your your thing offshore, but like, honestly, yeah, but a lot of guys want a wife, man. A lot of guys, a lot of guys want want to have a wife and kids. They really do. But that's a lot of guys point. don't want to be a playboy. A lot of guys don't want to fly around the world on jets and and drive fast cars and never be a playboy. They, a lot of guys really just but want to But I know that. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. So I, I don't see where the contrast is at in the argument. What's your point in that? I think I was re reacting to something you just oh, said. Oh, I was like, I, I didn't, I, I know they want, a lot of guys actually get into relationships with women wanting that to be like a serious thing. It just kind of goes to shit when she shows them things that are unattractive. Yeah. So I feel like this has died down. All right. Maybe I, it's not a bad sorry. Thing. We calmed everything. No, down. I, we're 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 listening to you. <laughs> um, sorry. It, it's just don't apologize. <laughs> uh, sorry. Here's the, here's the thing. I'm just saying there's hope. Is all I'm saying. There is no, hope. No, I'm we're, and we're not saying that there aren't good women in Western <laughs> countries. That's not what we're saying at all. However, there there are certain realities in the dating landscape. For example, when and this, I mean, it's kind of always been the case, but when social media was introduced and when dating apps were introduced. You basically have women who are all chasing after the top tier of men, hypergamy. I'm sure you're familiar with the term. Mm -hmm. So all these women, they're all chasing after the top tier of men because here's the thing. Women will confuse relationship attraction for uh, at least how men view it. There's relationship attraction and there's sex attraction. Men will sleep with women that they would never commit to or never have a relationship with. Typically, though, for women, for a woman to be willing to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least attractive enough to be in a relationship with in terms of physical appearance but men we will sleep with women who are who are we would never be in a relationship with her strictly just based off her looks alone but we welcome the easy not not all men but men will welcome the easy access to sex so what you have happening because of that is women are hooking up with like top tier dudes who they will never be able to secure for a long-term relationship they either wrongly think that they can secure that man for long-term commitment or, or they, well, they, so they're either delusional or they acknowledge that these guys are just fuck boys and I'll never get commitment, but they'll always kind of be chasing after them and they'll either wrongly think, well, I'm able to sleep with a guy who's a nine, so I must be a nine. Yeah. So you have women with overinflated, uh, an overinflated self-perception of their own physical attractiveness, of their value on the dating marketplace, let's say. And so to say men go level up, well, the reality is at the end of the day, like if at least what makes logical sense, an average woman should get with an average man. However, average women can sleep with men who are not average. 
You don't. You disagree? And you don't think men can do the same thing? No, men. God, no, they can't. No, on average any, dudes. On any nope. level. Nope. You an average. Don't think a ugly guy could get a girl just by having money. Or well, yeah, but no, but you've added, average. you've added, you've added, you've added the variable there. So having money is average. That doesn't. That's no, not that's most not men, average. most men like <laughs> make fifty k a year or something. Less shit. than that. Less than forty. Was it forty five? It's know. like thirty in America, I think. Yeah, the average so American wage is like th- for a guy is like thirty thousand dollars a year. Men can make up for their lack of looks by money, status, and charisma. The worse looking you are, the more you need. How about a girl? I mean, a girl having a pos- uh, a pleasant personality can make her more attractive to a, a partner, but it's not like. Just and make anytime a- we have a contradiction, you're going to say, oh, well, that's just you're because just men and women are different and that's unfair and it's just unfair. But what? at the same time, that's Wait, so do you, you think that. we're the same then? I think that um, there's equality. We could, be, that can we could be, be held to the same accountability. Oh, yeah. Into definitely. the mic. You can, you can switch it around and Into you can the say mic. that the woman was the, the breadwinner or the man. But at the same time, like, okay, yeah, it's very, it's very common for the man to be the breadwinner. He's supposed to do this. He's supposed to do that. And it's the okay to switch to roles at the same that. time. You can. Oh, you yeah, can. Yeah. What did you say? You can switch roles. Also. Okay, here's the difference, just to respond to your initial comment. Right. So average, an average woman could get laid with such a frequency as compared. Okay, here's the equivalent. Average women have the equivalent sexual pull as a male celebrity. So an average woman, if she was so inclined, could sleep with a new guy every single night of the week. She could probably sleep with two, three guys a day. Easily. In order for a guy to be able to do that, you you are less than the top one percent of men can do that. You have to be Leonardo DiCaprio. You basically. have to be like you have you to have to want it. <laughs> and I think you have to you have to even you have, to have more than I, you have to have more than just good looks right. as a guy to do that. Yeah. You need status. I, I think honestly, That's only men with status can do it. What's that? You're talking about the high value. No, when I say status, I mean like celebrity, athlete, musician. Th- these are the kinds of men that can like really run through chicks. But like an average chick could basically have the same sexual pull as like a top tier dude, really top tier dude. Average guy working at Starbucks. Bro, no. He ain't getting laid. He ain't getting laid, <laughs> he ain't getting laid or what he's struggling he f- to get laid. Like, what if he lies about everything and he goes out Even and he's if like, he I'm a high size yeah, yeah, you know how women, women, women are very, very good at picking up on bullshit. You're instinctive, man. You know if a guy's full of shit. Yo, it's it. women have, well, Someone women can. definitely have sex on easy mode. Y'all have getting yeah. sex on easy mode. That shit is easy for you guys. Do you disagree? I mean, you, I'm not trying to bulldoze you here, I but mean, do you disagree? Almost, almost 